The wait is finally over. Captain Farid Aviantara Helmi inspects his new workplace. In the in all. Yeah. That's new, uh, that's new frames. Frame. New frame? Yeah, new new frame. New frame, yes, new frame. The former passenger jet, now 20 years old, needs the new frame for its rebirth as a freighter. Its exterior may look rather patchy in places, but the Air Macau pilot is happy. With a revamped interior, all the plane needs now is a new coat of paint. An engineer from Elbe Aircraft Works puts the systems through a final check. It took 72 days to convert the Airbus A300 into a brand new cargo plane. Some 20 aircraft a year are given a similar makeover here in Dresden. Project manager Gilbert Bilke is overwhelmed with orders. Two months ago, the Air Macau plane was very much grounded. Down, but by no means out. This is in scrap. We modify the cockpit. We adapt systems to the new plane's new mission as a freighter. We also carry out cockpit standardization for the customer, meaning that the pilots can look forward to a fantastic, great-looking and fully functioning cockpit. The first step is to rip out everything that's superfluous to a freighter's needs. Seats, kitchen facilities and masses of cables are all removed. Then the aircraft is fitted with a huge cargo hatch. The entire frame has to be reinforced so that the plane is capable of transporting up to 54 tons of cargo. The conversion typically costs about 6 million euros. A sound investment for carriers, given that a new cargo plane costs three times as much. The engineers sometimes make very disconcerting finds. In this plane, for example, they discovered rusty fuselage parts. These are old repairs. There was some corrosion. Parts were cut out here. And now, new original parts are being installed. It's very complicated. But the repair work will make the frame more stable than ever. We've managed to get every single aircraft back in the air. There's no way the planes could fall apart now. There are older aircraft, 15, 18 or 20 years old, and it's quite normal for repairs to be needed on top of the freighter conversion. The Air Macau job was relatively straightforward. In future, what used to be the passenger cabin will accommodate the cargo. These roller balls in the floor make it easier to load pallets on board. Everything is fine and okay? Okay. So, so, so far, okay. So far, so good. Then it's time to release the brakes. Take off. Before returning to its home base in Macau, the Airbus has to go to Britain for a fresh paint job. After all, it needs to look good for the next 20 years.